We have not a huge audience today, which is okay. Lots of people this morning are celebrating Christmas. But you know what I love? I love when our guests show up with family members. It makes me just so happy. And that's exactly what Kitty did. She came with her dad, who's sitting right there. Okay, Chalo, can you get me, Dad? Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good to see you. We'll talk to you in just a second. Thank you. All right. So dad is here representing and giving moral support to his amazing daughter who took a leap for her passion and it tastes better than ever. And Zazie Kitty is here. Come out here, darling. How are you? Fine. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Mwah. Mwah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Today we're doing hugs actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hugs for Christmas. How are you doing? I'm well. You're dressed very appropriately. Thank <laughs> you. It's Christmas. It is Christmas. It is Christmas. Your story is a beautiful one. I always love to celebrate people who have chased and caught their passion. Um, tell us how you got into food. You were an auditor. Okay. I, I realized that I'm, I have a calling in the kitchen. And uh, that's my passion. I can cook all the time. Yeah. So I decided to use my calling, to use my talent into the food industry. Fantastic. And here I am, I spicing up kitchens and everywhere. That's great. Take us to the very, very beginning um, when, of course, you're in college studying and, and thinking, oh, this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. Auditing is not something you fall into uh, conveniently. It's something that's almost a calling. How did you get into auditing, Kitty? Uh, when I finished high school, mm -hmm. I decided to quickly start my CPAs. So I finished CPAs when I was still in campus. Yeah. And when I finished campus, I, got, I did a Bachelor of Economics and Finance. I really dreamt of working in an audit firm. So ideally, I applied in all the PwC, KPMG, Deloitte. And I found myself in, in Deloitte as a forensic auditor yeah. and something that I always wanted to do. So that's how I got myself into auditing. Right. But when I was still there, I, I realized that uh, I have a, a deeper f passion in cooking yeah. and spicing up my foods. And uh, people will call me to cook for them and I can cook anytime. And I decided that uh, I will do that part time. So I, I was doing it still when I was in Deloitte. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. Sitting in at your desk, crunching numbers, trying to give clients big figures and thinking about spices. When did that happen for you when you realized, okay, now my passion for food and, and love for spices and love for making people happy is taking over my daily job? Uh, when I decided that uh, I'm going to shift from being an auditor to full-time uh, nutritionist, <laughs> yeah. my friends say from an economist to a nutritionist. I love it. So uh, I, it was when... I was in Deloitte. I moved from Deloitte to Ernest and Young. Mm -hmm. And well, Ernest and Young, the traveling bit beca became too much. Okay. So balancing my spice business and balancing the work became a bit uh, a compromise. And I realized that if I wanted to die today, where would I want to die? Where will I breathe my last breath? Right. And uh, I said, uh, the test of freak. Test Africa being the company, yeah. but in real sense, I give eight hours to to Ernst and Young, and uh, despite the fact that I loved what I was doing at work, but my passion was different in the kitchen, so I decided let me take this shot. That's amazing. I'm so. Can we ha give her a hand? <laughs> I love that. You know, it's so it's so scary when you have to leap and take such a huge risk and, and just put yourself out there, but you did it. Um, while, of course, you're still working, it was, and I'm sure you're smart enough to know that really you can't just leap out and then figure it out. I'm sure you started your business, the structure of it, the business plan, how you wanted it to look. Take us through that. I, I started the business plan when I was in campus. Mm -hmm. So uh, did one, two, three, made sure this is a starting capital, I need this and that. But at that time, I, I had the idea, but I didn't have the, the, the zeal to start and uh, the confidence. So there's uh, uh, an organization that came to school and uh, was teaching us about bookkeeping and, uh, and the business things, how to put up a business plan. And they decided, you be in groups of six and uh, have a business idea and yeah. we'll give you $48 to, to do it. And they gave us literally $48. Wow. And when we were in the group of six, 
uh, every, none of us had an idea. And I said, but I have an idea. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. So we did the, uh, that was the when we started the first Chibundiro. Okay. And after, after the program, I said, why not continue doing it? It was my idea after all. So I kept on doing it pole pole to people uh, who ask for it. And then ultimately when I got a job, I decided I'll be doing it as a side business. Okay. Uh, but now when I quit from employment to, to do it full time, it was literally a step of faith. That is a step of faith. Very huge and very brave indeed for you to have done that. You've been in operation now for about a year. How have you been received in the market? Was it difficult at first and how are you doing now? It was very difficult. Yeah. Having the, the name Chibundiro uh, and having the product as the recipe yeah. itself is, is, a, is my innovation. Right, so it's new, right? It's new. Yeah. So penetrating the market it has been quite a challenge. Yeah. But uh, at first, at the moment, everyone is, every cook who doesn't know Chibundiro is missing out something. Yeah. Yeah. Because Chibundiro is just a sprinkle of Chibundiro makes you a chef. I love that. I love so that. At, at first penetrating was hard but Chandarana Food Plus took me up oh, nice. and gave me all their branches. Then next I got uh, Eastmart Supermarket, also all their branches. Then I got Clean Chef Supermarket mm -hmm. and other mini supermarkets in Estate okay. who are embracing the product and everyone is talking about, uh, some have, have it hard to pronounce like Chibu what? Yeah. But they know that Chibundiro. this thing is like just magic to the food. I love it. What uh, language is Chibundiro? Chibundiro is from the coastal part of Kenya. Yes. Which is the Mijikenda, uh, the subtype being the Chonyi community. Okay. So I just decided I won't assimilate the name to other co other other languages or also and decided let it be the origin of it, which means a mortar and a pistol. I love you have that. to to you have to grind and ground and pound so much to get chibundiro and that's how the name came up is that where you're from yes that's probably why your food is gonna taste so good i love all sorts of coastal dishes and you came bearing food today yeah yes y'all she brought us food this morning. it's christmas morning we have to eat all right even if we have to work we have to eat and i'm so happy you brought us some food <laughs> cindy or y'all yeah people are at home genising enjoying us we're sitting here working did they do we're eating Yes, we're going to eat chicken and rice in the morning. Mm-hmm. Spiced yes. up. Spiced up with Chibundiro. Oh, fantastic. I can't wait. All right, so, guys, we're going to take a very quick break right now. When we come back with Kitty, we'll speak a little bit to her dad, who has watched his daughter be brave enough to follow her dreams, and then we're going to eat. Mm-hmm, because it's Christmas Day. You've come up with a spice that tastes like that. This is unbelievable. You can just sprinkle it on your food, and you're good to go. You, you sprinkle it on, like, what people call, like, Kisumu boys, yeah, uh, that's a mena, yeah, and you'll feel like, Am I eating biryani? Really, even beans, even the stew, yeah, like the stew that you're going to test is without chibundiro. Then you add chibundiro, and it's a whole different heavenly world. that's amazing. Looking at, of course, uh, the fact that you are a nutritionist and the fact that now everybody is really going organic and everyone is really trying to look after their health. Tell me a little bit about um, how you do your processing. Are there any additives, MSG, those sort of things that a lot of people are really trying to stay away from right now? It's 100% organic okay. without any preservatives. That's great. So you, when you come to, to the farm, you'll actually see the onions going through the process, the ginger. They're all fresh. What is dry is the herbs and the spices. Okay. Then the spices also, like just like wine, they get better. And because we have already cooked them, and there is that coating that forms after the cooking that preserves them. There is no, no additive at all that is added to Chibundiro. Okay. Making it like a, a, a niche that so many people r try to run away from because they are afraid that it will perish. But this is natural and well made. Okay. It has a shelf life of three years. And you, you, do not, you don't have to refrigerate it. Just put it on your kitchen shelf. So what I'm doing is like a campaign. Create a space for Chibundiro on your kitchen shelf. That's amazing. You're really brilliant, by the way. <laughs> Thank right, you. Looking at the fact that you do have a finance and an audit background, <laughs> uh, and the business has to run, and you have to make revenue, and you have to be in every supermarket across the region, what is your plan for that, and how are you doing when it comes to the numbers of this business? Uh, in, com in terms of the numbers, yeah. uh, at the moment, I do them myself. 
good. <laughs> we, we, we started we started with a, a grammage that is 70 grams okay. that retails for 200 shillings. But of course, the supermarkets have to have their own margins so that they can make profit. But we also realized that uh, our country is uh, mostly controlled in terms of the economy by the middle and low income okay. class. So uh, I decided to make uh, some sachets. The sachets are small that you can use two times or one time depending on your intake. Mm -hmm. And this will penetrate into the low income areas and to the estates that retail only at 10 shillings. Wow. Such that every household will have Chibundiro. Like the vision of Test Africa is that Chibundiro will be the leading Kenyan spice in all households. I really feel like you're going to be huge. I will. I really do. I feel like you're going to give the tropical heat a run for their money. Right, guys? Yes. Are we going to Chibundiro in 2018? Chibundiro all the way, right? You know what I love? I love small little businesses that dare to believe and they just do it. And I think it's important. That's why you're here today. You, it, so that we can support small businesses and grow them rather than all these other foreign uh, foreign entities, isn't it? Yeah. Moral support is huge when you're trying to do something like this. A startup is nothing to joke about. You have had some support. Tell me especially about your dad before we talk to him. Uh, my dad is uh, a pillar in our family. Yeah. An educationist. He is actually graduating this Friday. Really? With his PhD. That's awesome. And uh, when I told him I'm, uh, I'm resigning, he told me, if that's where your passion is, just go for it. And that's all I needed to hear. I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. That is so nice of you to have given her that moral support. How are you this morning? Doing well. Excellent. Tell us your name, sir. Um, we can hear you. Go for it. Um, Bishop Samuel Kitilewa. Okay. And uh, Kitty uh, is uh, our second daughter. Okay. And uh, she has a brilliant idea, which we all sh cherish. Thank you. Uh, very difficult for parents to align sometimes with their children's dreams, especially when you hear after she graduates and she, she goes to Deloitte, PwC, Ernst & Young. Those are huge international companies. And then she says, Dad, I, I want to leave to make spices. What yes. do you say? Was it scary for you, for your daughter? Um, it was not really scary okay. because uh, I had uh, set the pace Initially, I was an accountant. Yes. Then, uh, along the way, I had I had a calling to be a preacher. Wow. So I left my job at KPA and went into full time preaching. It's so obvious where you get your genes, <laughs> right? To just leap and be brave and to be amazing and to not stop, you know. And and it's very very obvious. Thank you so so much for all the support that you've given her. Um, how do you feel about this coming year? Now that 2017 is winding up, very tough for many people. Now that it's winding up, what are your plans for the for the new coming year? 2018 is going to be a great year for yeah. Testa Freak, and uh, Chibundiro is going to penetrate more than 2017. Uh, the Sasha's idea is just a one month old. So actually it's a, it's a baby that we'll take care of in 2018. And I can imagine everyone in, in Kibera, in Madare, in Huruma, in, in all suburbs. You're just going to make it smell all like, nice all over the place. Like feeling, <laughs> feeling spicy yeah. and uh, enjoying Chibundiro. And I am seeing 2018 being having challenges that we will conquer absolutely and uh, having many successes what would you say to those who are scared of leaving or leaping or being brave or taking a risk i, I will say the wealthy people are those who take risks yeah. and the wealthy people are those who do things that peop normal people do not do so come out there don't be afraid do what you can do your passion and through your passion you're going to have bread. Fantastic. Oh, I give it up for Kitty, everybody. You're so awesome and you're so inspiring, honey. Making you. our Christmas morning. Yes, indeed. All right. So we are about to eat very quickly, and I'm going to pick some audience members to come eat with me, including Dad, of course. But spices, very, very crucial. My favorite spice is basil. Literally, I even eat ugali with basil. So shady, I know. But it, I just love how it tastes. Here is a little lesson on how you can spice up your Christmas meal. 
through some seasoning. Take a look at this, did you know? Everybody, you have learned a few things about spices. We are all set. I got some volunteers from the audience. You have to have been wearing red to be standing up here with Kitty and her dad and myself. All right, Kitty, thank you for bringing food, darling. Hi, Hi guys. Hi, ja Jackie. Yeah, Jackie. Jackie and? Ken. Ken, nice to meet you. And? Sharon. Sharon, okay. Dad, are you all set to eat? Yes. DJ D, are you all set to eat? So what we're doing here, all right, Chibundiro, that is the hashtag for the date. Christmas, okay? Um, what we're going to do is what? Before and then after? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So we taste it first. Yes. And before, this is bear without the Chibundiro, bear. which is right here on, the, on display, if you guys can see that. Okay? So we're just going to take, this is really wonderful rice and chicken stew. Yes. Y'all ready? Yes. Put that microphone away. You have a nice piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, that's nice. It's just boiled. It's nice, it's nice. I'm enjoying it. This is like 8 o'clock in the morning, we're eating chicken and rice. I love it. Okay. Jack, you happy? Good food. Good food? Yeah. Dad? Good. Sharon? Fantastic. Wonderful. And? It's awesome. Yeah, lick those fingers. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Okay, now, darling, Chibundiro. Yeah. So we have uh, without chili, mild chili, and hot chili. I'll You'll take mild. Mild. Mm -hmm. mild. Mild. Without. 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 I'll take hot. Hot. Yay, Dad. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see how it all tastes. Without. Without. Jack, you don't like spice. Uh, let's try it. Chili. Okay. Without. Without for Sharon. Okay. Then mild. Hot, Daddy. Yeah, for your dad, hot. I want hot Thank you. Okay. Then, mild. DJ D, how are you doing over there? You're supposed to be playing music, you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas morning, you're supposed mild. to be playing as music, but it's so good, isn't it? It is. Right? Let me give you, um, let's get you some spice in there so you can try it. All right, guys, let's try it. Go on, everybody. Hot. Get digging. Get digging. We're taste testers. This is a job I could do. Imagine. I could be a taster for a living. If anyone is out there with spices and eat tasting. Mm, oh, so good. It actually tastes like biryani. It actually does. Right? It is it's biryani. Hmm? We've sprinkled and biryani has happened. It's magic. The audience is feeling a bit bad. Don't worry, guys. You get to take something home with you. What are they taking, Kitty? Chibundiro. You're going Chibundiro. to spice up, spice up your... Everybody your gets Chibundiro today. Look at that. You get Chibundiro. You get Chibundiro. You get Chibundiro. Everybody gets Chibundiro today. Even the crew. Crew, you get Chibundiro. Yeah. Yay! Your Christmas is awesome. Give it up for Kitty and her dad. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us on this Christmas morning. Thank you so much. What are you guys doing? Do you want to grab the microphone? What are you doing? What are you doing today after this? Um... I guess I'm going to chill and <laughs> see my friends, maybe. Nice. And relax and enjoy the day. Yes. Okay. Are you doing anything for anybody? Uh, my friends, maybe. <laughs> okay. Do something for someone. Yeah. yeah? Maybe a stranger. As you said, I'll buy some chipomuito for somebody. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. And Sharon? Are you guys making noise over here? And after Sharon, this, what are you doing, honey? After this, I'm going home. Mm hmm I am going to eat chibundiru with my family. Yay! And eat chibundiru and eat chibundiru. I love it. She's supposed to be a brand ambassador. For real. And you, Jackie, what are you doing today, honey? Today is family day. Yeah. So spice up my Christmas chibundiru all the way. I love oh. you. Make these two girls your, your brand ambassador. Yeah. For real. They I can would. sell your stuff. Thank you so much, everybody. Give them one more round mm -hmm. of applause. Thanks, everyone. All right, without further ado, we say Merry Christmas, Kenya. May you have a beautiful day. May you be blessed. May God shine his favor upon you. And may you have a wonderful day. For now, let's leave you with a wonderful song. Be inspired. Be brave in 2018, just like Kitty. Bye, everybody. Bye.